<laughs> oh man, your Tangela fight. Dude, I. Oh, that fucking sucked. Let's see, it's week 12. Did you hear that? Were you able to hear uh, Aaron? No, I have him muted right now. Oh, okay. And he's on my phone also. There we go. That'll update. This is the first time that you and I have done the the um, <clears throat> weekly challenge before pre three, right? <laughs> Could, I couldn't wait. I had to get something in. <laughs> I still have to fucking do nightshade. Well, you got a few days. Nightshade's a good game that though. Nightshade's a good game. At least I liked it. Quantum didn't like it because well, it broke him. <laughs> All right, let me roll add. Roll add now. We'll keep we'll keep ads from popping up later. How do you mine for magic carps? Oh man. Anybody who hasn't played Pokemon is going to have a very bad time. Yeah. <clears throat> like shit. I I don't consider myself like uh, a hardcore Pokemon player or anything like that, but you know, I've played quite a few games and I was still having trouble with it. Like, I've played, you know, I've played some Nuzzies, so I, I kind of know the gist of it. I kind of know, like, some of the strategies you have to employ on tough fights. But, damn, you know, <laughs> it's still hard. Yeah. I kind of wish the newer Pokemon games were like that, though. I kind of wish they would just implement just implement it into the game. Just offer a challenge mode. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Howdy, Fusha. How do you mine for Magikarps? Uh, old Rod. <laughs> you get the Old Rod, find water, use the Old Rod. Boom. <clears throat> It's playing a Pokemon commercial. Oh, good. That's that is actually I saw that sto uh, Stormy. That's what made me think that the new Pokemon, compared to the old Pokemon, suck. Ugh. I'm a Gen Oneer, so I get it. My favorite, I think, was probably. I really enjoyed Black and Black Two. Um. Yeah, I liked Black and White. Apparently those are worth uh, quite a bit these days. Yes, they are expensive games. Let's see, I wish to watch myself play, or watch myself stream. Eh. There we go. Let me in in time. In in time to hear K Kalo Kylo say that, I said my own name wrong. Kalo. Oh yeah, Katie Kylo Meld. Okay, fusion dance. No, I'm good. <laughs> I would not want to be inside her head. That is a good point. <laughs> <clears throat> <coughs> Octobot, Octobot! Octobot, Octobot. For your week nine results. Oh, yeah, because we got a match. I know. I'm trying to figure out what week nine was. Was it Nightshade. Sonic? Oh, okay. God, it's been a while. It was Nightshade, and then week ten was Doom. Ah, fuck Doom. Oh, there's Stormy. Yeah, I know Stormy. I know. <laughs> She's right, though. You need to play Nightshade? I know, she's right. You should do it tonight. I plan on doing it tonight. Oh, good. 
Splork. Aaron said that he, or uh, Big Captain said that he was going to probably take a break after um, Gym 1, if he beats it. Um, so whenever he takes a break, I'll probably be streaming Nightshade. Oh, goody. Because otherwise I'd be watching him play Pokemon. I want to watch, I want to <laughs> watch Pokemoners, so. Yeah, I want to watch, I want to watch people get mad. Yeah, me too. As someone who has been there myself. It was, it's fully justified. Like, any, anyone who gets mad at this game, anyone who gets mad at this round and rants and raves about it, it is completely justified you have a, a mad pass. Fuck you, Octolot. <laughs> Fuck. You have a you. get mad pass. This is a this is a brutal rule set. It is guaranteed to make you mad. <clears throat> like even a even a regular nuzlocke are, are difficult to start with, and then we add extra rules on top of that, and it's just like ooh, yeah, really. Ugh, uh, I need a trim. I'm getting that woolly hobo look. I mean, don't use items. One Pokemon around, release them when they faint. That's the basics. Stuff you got to remember for this stuff, though, is, you know, first gym is level 9 cap. Yep. Don't over level. What, what even are the are... rules? Good, what? Good, good of you to ask, <laughs> Fusha. We'll be getting to that later. <laughs> what even are rules? Hey, Decky. Oh, there's there's Decky. Decky, my favorite person right now. My favorite person of the day. Decky was a juicy sacrifice for me. Oh, yeah. Decky, Decky just just aced it all for me. He almost died, but he aced it. Uh, we've been live long enough. We can get going here. Yeah, we got seven minutes rolling. All right. <clears throat> so, uh. As I was saying, this week, guys, we have uh, Pokemon Gold Hardcore Nuzlocke. It is... Hardcore is... <laughs> only scratching the surface. This is really freaking difficult. Um, we'll be playing Gold version on the Visual Boy Advance. Which I don't really know if any other version... Any other emulator is going to really matter, frankly. They should all be the same. Not really. I used... I, for what it's worth, I used Same Boy. I have two versions of Visual Boy, and I always forget which one works better. And the one I picked was the one that doesn't work better. And I had graphical glitches. I saw I saw some of your videos. Like, well, okay, those are weird graphical glitches. Yeah, it scared the shit out of me because the first one happened right after I saved, and I was like, oh god, what is going on? <laughs> did I just save? Into I this? thankfully did not run into any of that. So I booted it up. Ashley uses my PC, so on her run, she didn't encounter it at all. Hmm. But I must have picked the other one. So, it is what it is. I'm fairly certain I have a Visual Boy Advance somewhere <laughs> as well. So. Um, so, I mean, everybody knows Pokemon. If you haven't heard the name Pokemon, you are under a rock somehow. Um, I know Digimon. Digimon. But, um, basically our rules here are Every Pokemon you catch must be named, all right? You can't name them the default names. You have to pick a name. The entire point of that is so that you can grow attached to them, and when they eventually die, you will be heartbroken. The entire purpose is misery. I should have grabbed my uh, copy. Of, I don't know where it's at, but I should have taken the time and looked for my cartridge of gold to show us here to put on display. Can I name all of my Pokemons Brent? I don't see why not, but I would at least make it like Brent 1, Brent 2. You don't have numbers, can't so you'd, name, you'd have can't to spell have it out. Brent A, ah, Brent B, Brent K, Brent yeah, D. There you go, A, B, C, D. Brenta. Brent F. Brent A, Brent E, Brent O, Brent 2. <laughs> or just like, that'd, be, that'd actually be really funny, just, just all different variations of Brent. A, ah, Brent, I, Brent, O, Brent. Or like, yeah, and then toss it up a little bit, then Brant, then Brant, Brant, <laughs> Brunt, Brunt, <laughs> um, Brant with a Y. <clears throat> so, in Pokemon, you have various routes that you'll be traveling on. You'll have various caves you'll be going into, as well as 
um, certain buildings that you can enter that will have Pokemon encounters. For each area that you enter, you can catch only the first one you encounter, as long as it's not something you've caught before. Mm -hmm. um, there is an NPC that will give you a map. Yes. It is very useful in this case. Yes, check also, your map. Also, if you decide to use a tracker... Sorry, Mark, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, check your map. You'll It will immediately tell you what route you're on, and it will tell you what routes are coming up, as well as any other locations, such as Ruins of Alf, or the Dark Cave, or Union Cave. Those are all separate areas. And if you download a tracker, the tracker will also be able to tell you what areas are separate as well. Yeah. Uh, but there is there is one thing that I would like to point out uh, near the beginning before you reach um, Violet City, thirty uh, Route Thirty One starts a lot earlier than you think. It does start before you reach the Dark Cave. Yeah, Route Thirty One so, going do, from thirty to thirty one is is a little ambiguous. So do be careful if you run into a new unique Pokemon. Um, Fusha, they. Are I know Kythias linked one. I also linked one in the Discord. The one that I found has pretty minimal spoilers, other than it tells you the routes and it actually has all the gym level caps listed up top. So unless you go like super digging into it um, and just kind of stay on the base page, it'll it'll keep track for you. Um, that said, you don't really need a tracker. It... I was gonna say I didn't use a tracker. Um... <clears throat> It I, didn't really yeah. hinder me in any way. I started with one, and I realized, you know, this is just taking too much time going in and updating stuff, and it serves me no purpose. Yeah. My nose is cold. Uh, Sorry, random tidbit there, but... It does not tell you when you enter a new route. Um, as Octo pointed out on Discord, that started with Crystal, which was just after this one. Yep. So, which is a shame. That would have been really handy. It would have been super handy. Um, the big thing here, if any of your Pokemon faint, they are dead. You must release them the next time you are at a Pokemon Center. Um, I have tried to clarify this with Octo, and, uh, you are not allowed to have a graveyard. You must release them. You must experience the pain of loss. Uh, so far, Fusha, the only time that it is is murky is going from 30 to 31. Yep. Um, everything else is really easily defined. Um, in the options before you get started, you must change your battle style to set. Normally, if it... you forget this, it can be changed in game. Yes. Try to make sure to do it before your first battle. Well, so I guess it'd I mean, really be your first battle. It doesn't really matter. You have one Pokemon. Yeah. So or normally your battle style is set to shift. And what that means, Fusha, is when you KO an opponent's Pokemon and they choose their next one, it gives you an option to switch. It tells you which one they're, they're putting out and gives you an option to switch. Set means you have to keep in the one that you currently have in, and if you want to change, your opponent gets a free hit. It's the same as PvP rules. Yep, and that can be that can be changed on the title screen or in game. Just make sure you do it ASAP. Yep. Yep. Yeah, hard mode, exactly. Um it makes you think, you know, uh are you gonna be safe to switch in? Is this move that this Pokemon is spamming. Can I swap another Pokemon into that? And can they take that hit as well as do anything effectively? Or then you start have to kind of, you start have to strategize of, all right, well, I'm in a pinch. Who do I throw out to sacrifice so I can get a, swap, a free swap in? It's, it gets pretty spicy. Um, I unnecessarily sacrificed Adrian. In, in a battle. I sacrificed Thinking, Octobot. Oh, I can get a few moves in here. <laughs> totally didn't need to. I felt bad. I feel bad, though. I sacrificed Octobot to a Tangela. And oh, I, had, Tangela. I, I had to. <laughs> um, yeah. no, no items, save for Pokeballs, are allowed in combat. This does not mean you can't use held items. 
Um, Pokemon can hold berries, which will trigger at half health. Well, the heal berries will. Or um, you can get items for them to hold that will boost specific move types. For example, I had one that boosted rock type moves, so I gave that to my Geodude. Geodude. Yeah. Save reloading is not permitted. Um, definitely recommend just doing safety saves, safety saves instead of in case of crashes. Um, but no other, saves coming. No saves coming. Um, the part that is going to make this very difficult for people Fuck is that you, Octo. <laughs> each of the gyms has a cap, right? And this is the maximum level a Pokemon can be when you enter battle with the leader not any of the grunts not any of the trainers that are in the gym specifically the leader if you get higher than that um you i recommend you box them you box that pokemon while you go into the gym and then bring it back out one if you beat it if you level up mid fight with the the leader so you you're fighting the the gym leader, you beat his first Pokemon and you level up, that's okay. You're still good. From 9 to 10. Yeah, you go from 9 to 10, it's okay. You're fine. The gyms here are all listed. The cities are listed. The caps are listed. Um, personal experience, Goldenrod City is going to be the, um, the goal. Right. This is going to be the one that you're going to be trying to get to within the five hours. Um, I was able to reach Goldenrod City at hour four, um, and then I used my remaining time to try to grind up some levels, and yeah, and I mean... And then ultimately lose. <laughs> and then I ultimately, yeah, with loss with just a sliver of health left. Um, Decky's right, Whitney is the goal here. Um, Whitney's mill tank is legendary, just absolutely legendary. Anyone who has played gold before knows Whitney's mill tank. It is infamous. It is very difficult. Fuck you, Oct uh, Whitney. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Octa Whitney. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, just get ready for it, Fusha. I mean, I don't mind spoiling um, mill tank. It is disgustingly powerful. I mean, for what it's worth, it's going to be tricky just getting there. Yeah, frankly, just getting there is hard. Um, timer starts once you have, uh, after leaving New Bark Town with Pokeballs. So the beginning of the game allows you to get your starter, you leave town, you go talk to some douchebag, you br come back to where you started. Let me know the types of the first two gyms too. Oh, talk uh, to NPCs. They'll tell you. Yeah. You can go outside of the gym and you can check the sign and it will tell you what the gym type is. So, um... The games do not hide yeah, that info whatsoever. That information's honestly not the hard part. <laughs> yeah, outside of Nuzlocke, Mill Tank. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Um, just playing standard with shift and everything... A lot of people run into walls on mill tank without level caps. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I gonna... oh, go ahead. Um, the tutorial has you leave town with your starter, go get an egg, you come back, you fight your, you fight your rival, and once you deliver the egg, you get your first pokeballs. That's when you start your timer. At least I yep. started once I got my Pokeballs. This says once you leave the town, it's a matter of a few seconds. It's not a big deal. I started when, yeah, when the dude gave me the balls as well. Giggity. Um, so you do have that time to level up your starter if you wanted to, but you do have to keep the level 9 cap in mind. Um, other than that, what I can advice I can give is you really, with this being a Nuzlocke, you cannot play this like you would casually play Pokemon. These battles you have to think extremely strategically. You have to think um, 
incremental wins you have to think winning the war and maybe even if it means losing a battle um you also gotta think uh monetarily yeah you gotta understand i'm gonna play casually nothing <laughs> you stop me i mean you're right i can't stop you fusha fusha you were my uh you were my flaffy you were a thunder god and you were extremely useful that's what Decky was for me. Decky was my Metapod. He never evolved. He died. You were my Metapod three fucking times, Mark. <laughs> Couldn't get you anything else, honestly. Oh, that was bullshit. You were my Pigeon. You were a star. Until you died. Uh, until I died. But then again, that's kind but of everybody. I did help out a lot, yeah. So, um, yeah. Just, oh, I wait. It, fuck this! I just noticed Miltank in the background of this, Mark. God, why'd you do that? Why did I do what? Like I, behind me, behind my screen, I see Miltank. You see Miltank? Miltank? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hank Hilltank. <laughs> do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, I'm not lying when I say across across the fandom Whitney's mill tank is, is infamous um, so yeah just place, place as slow as you can obviously you have the 5 hour timer you're working against but a lot of these battles you're going to have to stop and think and minimize damage and some fights you can't just brute force your way through You've got to play the long game. Uh, of note, should you restart the game, uh, if you take a break between sessions, starting the timer, when you hit new game is what's going to have to happen. You don't get that free time on restarts. Yep. <clears throat> if you have gotten Pokeballs and then you wipe, if you completely lose all your Pokemon, it's a game over. You have to restart the game from fresh um, if you have saved and you need to get rid of your save file the combination of buttons is up b and select at the title screen that is how you delete your save file oh really i just did new game uh it shouldn't let you save if you do new game but maybe they change that in gold i don't know i mean you start a new game <laughs> and then it just says when you when you go to save it's that there's already a file here do you want to overwrite it yep oh well you can do that too well, that's a lot easier um yeah so as kylo said though if you've gotten your pokeballs once then your timer goes and it doesn't stop for game reasons so yeah that's that and like i said this is a hard one this is a really really hard one if you have not played pokemon i am sorry this is going to be <laughs> incredibly difficult Hell, I mean, even if you have played Pokemon, it's still going to be fairly difficult. Yeah, even if you know Pokemon, this Nuz Nuzlocke's alone are hard, and then we're doing additional shit on top of it. So. But it is what it is. It's not the Wheel of Happiness and Rainbows. I'm fine. That's Personally, true. I'm fine having an occasional just ridiculously hard game, like Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kyle, you didn't get to experience Marathon, did you? Nope. I it may is... have been around when it was... If it, I think it was, might have been in Season 3, uh, but I never played it. Oh, that was that was a joy. Um, Marathon it was made by Bungie way before they got into Halo. It was one of their mm -hmm. earliest games. And so it's a first-person shooter, and the rules we played on only allowed you to use the... You had to save in specific locations. Um, oh. And it only allowed us to use the save spots once a piece. Oh. Yeah. And it was incredibly unforgiving. <laughs> it just, you had to know where the enemies were before you started shooting, because as soon as you got into line of sight, they were firing on you. Reminds me of uh, Goldeneye for a bit in the silo when they mm -hmm. would start shooting at you right before you were around the corner. Yep, yep, exactly. Just, just difficult. I did well, but it was difficult. 
nonsensical level the nonsensical progression. level progression that was re the really annoying bit <laughs> yeah a lot of the levels didn't make a lot of sense you just kind of had to just wander around and push use on everything until you finally got to the next stage <clears throat> uh, anywho go on to the manual and I probably won't get too much into this but we can go over some things yeah I mean the, for the nuzlocke there's a lot that we're going to be yeah, there's going to be a lot that's not in the book. I mean, that's just not relevant for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, your 10-year-old boy who goes out on his own, this guy's an asshole, and this is your rival. Um, when you first start the game, it's going to ask you for a date and time. The time matters in that day and night cycles, mean you have different uh, Pokemon that are available. <clears throat> Now, do you have to set the time to your current time, or can you switch it to night? You can do whatever you want. There's no rule against it. Fair enough. I just pushed 10 a.m. because that was the default. Ah, I actually set my time to what my time was. <laughs> um, so, your basic controls, A to confirm, B to cancel, start brings up your menu, select allows you to arrange moves on the lists. So when you're in combat and you open up the attack uh, the attack menu, you can push select to rearrange. Uh, and then control pad to move. Um, the only thing that's going to matter here on the front is you're going to want to set your options. And then you want to do new game or if you're coming back, you want to hit continue. You'll have to name your character. You'll also have to name your rival. Name it whatever you want. Here's, your op here's a show of your options menu. The only thing on here that you have to do is you have to change battle shift to set. Or battle style to set. You want to say what everything else does though? Sure. So text on speed the is... Screen. Yeah, text speed is gonna, obviously going to change how fast the text appears on the in the game. Um, obviously you're trying to go fast. Make your text fast as long as you can read it. Battle scene... Um, Battle scene allows you to watch the animations, so when so and so Pokemon uses a fire attack, it'll do a little fire graphic, blah blah blah. You can turn that off, it speeds battle up. Um, we have shift and set right here, here's the explanation for what they do, but we've already explained it. You can change ma sound from mono to stereo. I did notice a difference in my headset when I changed the stereo. So did I. Uh, print, don't bother, it's for the Game Boy printer. Um, <laughs> so... It has nothing to do here. Um, menu ac account uh, shows descriptions of commands that appear on the menu screen. You can have that on or off. So if you know what everything on the menu screen does, go ahead and turn that off. And then you can change the frame. Just a style choice. Yep. Just like in Earthbound. Yeah. Well, Earthbound, you can change the entire background, I think, too. Um... The Pokedex here keeps track of all the Pokemon you have encountered and caught as well. Um, for our purposes here, this is mostly worthless. Um, selecting This is the menu screen, by the way. Selecting Pokemon opens up your current party, allows you to go in and you know check stats, um, check moves, allows you to give them items to hold or even use items on them if you want. Or no, I think you have to do that from the item menu. Can't do it in this one. Later ones, you can do that. Um, allows you to change their order. So the one on the very top is the one that's going to come out first in battle. Very important. Um, every Pokemon that takes part in a battle will gain an equal share of the experience from the fight. They only have to make an appearance. They do not have to make a move. So old school level up technique for when you're trying to get your, your brand new Pokemon who's level 3 caught up is to have them in the front get into a fight immediately change them out they'll get half the experience and they're not in danger of dying um, you'll see here that each Pokemon or each Pokemon's attack list has a set of PP those are power points and that is how many times you can use them before resting 
Um, you can select item to give a Pokemon an item to hold. Um, if you go to pack, this is your backpack. This is all the items you're carrying with you. You'll your default will go to your item screen, which holds your potions, your antidotes, your repels, and berries, things like that. If you push right, you'll go to your Pokeballs. Push right again, you'll go to your key items, and go right one more, you'll go to your technical and hidden machines. These are the technical machines, the TMs, are one-time use items that will teach a move to a Pokemon, a, an applicable Pokemon. Not everyone can learn everything. Hidden Correct. machines. Hidden machines are the same thing, except they're you can use them as much as you want, and they have use outside of battle. So, for example, cut is the first one you get, second one you get. Um, cut's the second one you get, and it allows you to cut trees down so you can continue on your path. Yep. But you can also use cut in battle as an attack. It's dual purpose. <coughs> The Pokemon gear, the Pokemon gear that you have, you'll have a watch. In the second town, you will acquire a town map, and this is where you will check your location. So you make sure you're catching the. the you can thing. acquire a map. You can, you're right. You can skip it if you don't talk to the old man. Um, definitely, just recommend talking to um, on your way through in the tutorial. That way, you can get your map and you can check. And let's see if we can zoom here. Look at this. So you start here in this little bit, and then you move, you move west, and you move north, and right here is the kind of the choke point of Route 30 and 31. This is the one where it gets a little confusing. So if you're heading north on 30, just occasionally check your map before entering patches of grass. Yep, it should. Uh, change to 31 before you reach the cave but after uh, the one of the trainers like the, the last applicable trainer before the cave mm -hmm. so. <clears throat> dark cave is right here at the corner too so there's another catch opportunity there um, cell phone Unless and radio knock out the zoo bat the first time and you don't oh, get it I said opportunity <laughs> Um, cell phone honestly the cell phone is mostly pointless uh, if you were playing casually you could talk to trainers after you've beaten them get their phone number and they will call you when they're ready for another challenge you can go back and fight them again um, for our purposes here you're not really going to be doing a lot of backtracking and they call you constantly so you will lose a lot of time don't recommend it but that's if that's a choice you want to make go for it um, radio station. Radio once. Yeah, I didn't use the radio at all. Uh, I think you get the radio in Goldenrod. I think so. Yeah. They mentioned that's where the radio station's at, so. Mm -hmm. um, so if you select your name, you can see how much money you have, and you can see which badges you have. Um, obviously, save is save. Option brings up the option screen we've already covered. Um, in the towns. Every town is going to have a Pokemon Center where you can talk to Nurse Joy here to heal everyone for free. Um, if you go to your PC, that's where you will capture, or that's where you will store and withdraw Pokemon as well as release them if they are dead. Um, you also have your PC you can do to store and withdraw items, but that's probably not going to be an issue for you here. Um, you can connect to Professor yeah. Oak's PC, and he will evaluate your Pokedex, which is a complete waste of time. Um, each town's also going to have a Pokemart, which you can go to in order to buy more Pokeballs, potions, um, Paralyzed Heal, Antidotes. Yep, um, Antidotes, it's definitely important to have at least a few um, if you're out pretty far from the town. And you have a poison Pokemon, they will take damage as you're walking. And um, your screen will definitely let you know. Yes, your screen will let you know when you're taking poison damage. It is about one damage every five or six steps or so. Um, but you can still get KO'd from that, which 
Nuzlocke rules means that one's out. Um, department store isn't applicable until you get to Goldenrod, and it is just a multi-floor building of stores. It's just a bunch of stores. Um, radio towers and Goldenrod, a waste of time again. Your room, you can go back to your room and change decorations. Again, waste of time. <laughs> the name rater will rate your nicknames. Again, waste of time. Uh, there are ruins. There is a set of ruins, the uh, ruins of Alf, A-L-P-H, um, that you can go to. And there is a catch opportunity there if you can find it. Just don't bring your cat. Bring your cat. I'm sorry, I will always hear ALF, not ALPH. <laughs> um, Professor Elm's the guy that gives you your starter. Professor Oak is the starter guy from Red and Blue. And your mom is very easy. <laughs> I was going to say, and your mom's fucking them both. <laughs> Which is why she wants you out of the house. Yep. Get out. Um, your mom will save money for you if you want. As far as a Nuzlocke goes, that is entirely pointless. Um, normally, you can have your mom save your money for you so that if you get KO'd and kicked out of a battle, you don't lose any money. But with her, yeah, don't bother. Here's a list of all the items that you can get. Remember, these items here cannot be used in combat, but they can be used outside of combat. Um, revive is going to be completely pointless, so if you get one, go ahead and sell it. Yep. Um, in my run, I didn't encounter any of these Pokemon power-ups. Uh, escape rope will let you escape from dungeons, like caves and stuff. Just it, It's nice, quick, easy out. Uh, repel will... Uh, repel wild Pokemon for 100 steps. Um, <clears throat> Super Repel is just a more effective version. You can get a bicycle in Goldenrod, which will allow you to move faster. Um, on the way to... Or maybe it's... I don't know. Somewhere along the way, I did find an old rod. You can use the old rod to catch Magikarp. That's all it will catch, but that does count as your catch for a route, so you'll have to have a free route or a city. Um, what else is I here? I think you got it in Golden Run. Was it? Okay. Could have I been, think. yeah. Yeah, I remember it was pretty late. Um, berry is a very handy item. This is an item that a Pokemon can hold, and once when they reach the threshold of half their health, they will automatically consume the berry and recover some health. Um, poison Cure is the same thing, except it triggers once your Pokemon's been poisoned, and it, treat, it acts like an antidote. Burnt Berry will thaw them if they are frozen. There's also, what is it, Bitter Berry, I think, does pre paralyze. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine there's other ones, too, but... Those are the only ones I found. Well, no, 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 no. There was Bitterberry, but then there was also uh, Paralyzed Cure Berry. Cure. Oh, okay. So Maybe Bitter was Confusion. Because I remember there was PSN Cure and PZR or PRZ Cure. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. That was like Prez Cure. Uh, yeah, Bitter must be Confusion or Sleep then. Mm, yeah. But if you... All you have to do is is look at them, and the um, the description will tell you what they do. And here's the list of the items that you can use in combat. They are Pokeballs. You cannot use Pokeballs on trainer fights. Um, That's just rude. Ideally, when you're catching, when you're going out to catch, you will try to weaken the Pokemon before catching them. However, it is still possible to just throw it at max health and catch them. Although it is a little bit more difficult. The weaker they are, the easier they are to catch. True. As well as if they are affected by something like sleep or paralysis. That will also increase your um, catch rate. Now I was able to cat I was able to acquire a lure ball as well as poke and great balls. 
Um, you're not going to be getting a Master Ball in this run, and probably not Ultra Balls. Um, nope. No idea about Fastball, though. Um, so here's the here's a list of the HMs. You have Flash, Flash and Cut are going to be the two you're probably going to be able to acquire. Flash, when used in battle, will reduce your opponent's accuracy. It's basically get the best balls you can. Since if you fail to catch your one Pokemon on the route, you don't get that one. That is true. Yes, if your Pokemon that you encounter runs away or you kill it, then it is gone forever and you lose your opportunity for that route. So you want to weaken it, but not too much. <laughs> And you have to be aware that a crit will do double damage. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, there's some Abras out there. Uh, I ran into some Abras, but thankfully it was after my catch chance, because they all ran away. Yep. I mean, you see an Abra, just start throwing balls. Get, get just, yeah, just throw a ball, because that's going to be the only chance you get. Yep. Um... You can get some other moves that you can use outside of combat, like Rock Smash, Dig, and Headbutt. Um, I was able to get Headbutt, and if you use that on a tree, it will make a Pokemon appear. And different Pokemon can appear, if whether it's day or night, or what kind of tree you're using Headbutt on. I believe you also got rolled out. I did get rolled out. <laughs> you weren't able to use it, but you got it. I used it, it just didn't get all the way before poor Geodude died. Fair. Fair. Um, so, you have two kinds of battles here. You have your fighting your wild Pokemon, which are going to appear in grass. Um, the tall grass that kind of partially obscures your character. Or if you are in the Ilex uh, forest, then it's just wherever you walk you can encounter a wild Pokemon. If a Pokemon trainer catches you in their line of sight, they will stop you and approach you for a battle. And, yeah. Try not to lose too many Pokemon to that. Yeah. They're good EXP, but they're also... Yeah, you will get better EXP... They can be tough. Yeah, you'll get better EXP from trainer battles than you will from wild Pokemon. You will also get money from trainer battles, which you do not get from wild Pokemon battles. That is very true, and money can be a bit tight in the early game. So here's your commands in battle. You have Fight, which will bring up your attack list. PKMN, which will allow you to change to another Pokemon. Pack will bring up your item list. Remember, you can only use Pokeballs. And Run, you can only run from wild battles. You cannot run from trainers. Here is a list of the status effects you may be affected by. Uh, poison. In combat, poison will do 1 16th of your maximum health. Out of combat, it is 1 HP every 5 or 6 steps. Use an antidote to remove that outside of combat. Paralyze will cut your speed in half, as well as um, every you have a 50% chance of just losing, losing your turn. Uh, sleep will put your Pokemon to sleep. They will do nothing for two to five turns. Or if you're me, five turns every time. You got hosed by that so much. I got hosed by that three times in a row. I couldn't believe it. Um, ice. Ice is the worst thing in the world. It will freeze your Pokemon. There's no way out of it um, unless you use a burn, uh, an ice heal. Although I think... I think you can thaw. I, that's not quite correct. I think you can thaw, but it's a low, low random chance. Yeah. Um, burn will reduce your attack power by half, as well as dealing one sixteenth your your maximum health per round. Um, and same with poison; it'll do damage every so many steps. And faint, aka dead, when that Pokemon's HP has reached zero, they are gone. You will have to release them. And right here, a good footnote is Confusion. Confusion can be stacked on top of these, these effects here. 
and it is a one in three chance that you hit yourself when you choose to attack. So and it la that lasts two to five turns as well. Yeah, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Hey, that's how I. That's how my Zubat did pretty good on a couple fights. <laughs> Um, so every Pokemon has types, so you will need to understand type advantages. I'm not going to go through all of them because there are like 12 different types. Are we able to look up I'm, a type list? You know, I think it would be fair. Um, I don't see how that would give you any extra advantage. Um, really, I think that especially would because if you're looking at it while you're playing, you're wasting time. You're wasting time, but furthermore, I think that just kind of levels the pit, gives you a, a decent floor playing field. Yeah, um, it's just basic. It's basic knowledge um, when it comes to Pokemon games, and it's vital knowledge when you're playing the game. So you know, use water on fire Pokemon. Use fire on grass Pokemon. Use grass on water Pokemon, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, let's see here, blah blah blah. Use oh, and ground types are immune to uh, electric attacks. That's pro that's an important one. And flying are immune to ground attacks. Let's see here. The secret to catching Pokemon is to throw a Pokeball. Ta-da! Let's see here. Yeah, different Pokemon will show up at different times of day. For example, Hoot Hoot only comes out at night. Because it's an owl. It is an owl. I like Hoot Hoot. He's, he's a cool owl. He's not very good, but he's a cool owl. <laughs> And here's that thing I already said, where you can put your weak Pokemon up front and switch out for them to get half the experience. Every Pokemon, well not everyone, but most Pokemon will evolve once they reach a certain level. So after combat, um, if your Pokemon has leveled up, you will know if it's going to evolve because it will stop you and show it evolving. Um, moving to the next form, Typically, it will be a nice increase in stats. Um, occasionally, it will also teach a move or two, and in some cases, even may change their types. So, for example, here, uh, Caterpie will evolve to Metapod at level 7, and from Metapod to Butterfree at level 10. Once it hits level 10, it's become a Butterfree. It's a dual type of bug flying. So, here, it's only a bug type. At Butterfree, it is two types. So two, twice the weaknesses, twice the strengths. You can't get eggs. You can leave Pokemon at daycare, but that, those are both going to be a waste of time for our run here. Here are... I didn't realize this was here. Here's all the um, gym leaders, Fusha. Um... The first gym it gives you the Zephyr badge and is uh, led by the guy Faulkner. So you should be able to kind of discern what kind of typing he is using. Same thing with the Hive badge by Bugsy. What kind of type he's going to be used. And Whitney with the Plane badge who will destroy you. This is the face of evil. This is Satan right here. Uh, we're not going to link up to trade or battle. So these are all moot. We're not going to be getting mystery gifts. We're not going to But print. I wanted to trade you my Kadabra. I mean, that would be nice. And if you need help with installation, maintenance, or service, call the Nintendo Authorized Repair Centers at 1-800-255-377-3700 or visit them at Nintendo of America in Redmond, Washington. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, do we want to do wheel? Let's do the wheel. All right, let's do the wheel. Make it big. So, for Pokemon Gold, 
Tenth place, we have Spin That Wheel. Notice that week nine we had a, a matchup with Octobot. We did. Octo topped out at Nightshade. As predicted. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. So apparently we have a bunch of Nuzlocke pros in here who are gonna who are gonna go and beat Whitney. Do the thing that I could not do. Shit. That means I'm already off the. You're already podium. off the wheel. <laughs> or at the very least, beat Badge Two faster than I did. Ah uh, no, there's no way. Oh, oh, you mean? Okay, I see what you're saying. Yep. People above you. Yeah, Stormy, you did great on Night Nightshade. Congrats, little uh, Stormy. And Kaithis, good old Kaithis at ninth. Number eight goes to. Number eight. <clears throat> Octo. I, I have a feeling Octo's going to beat me. I think he can take Whitney. Return of Octodad. Okay. I still don't want him to beat the first dun uh, t uh, gym. Well, I mean, no. I don't want anybody to beat the first gym. <laughs> I think he can do it. Um, so, Kyle... Well, then. Kylo the Time Wizard finds more time discrepancies, goes back, does a full, uh, fifth run, and beats me. Oh, uh, <laughs> turns out my first, my first three runs just don't count at all. They didn't count at all. I'm back on the clock. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Council just in. Kylo, you have five hours left. <laughs> <laughs> why, thank you, Decky. That's amazing. How that, did that happen? I mean, there's there's a reason why Decky came ahead of me there, so. Yup, yeah. Wink, <clears throat> wink. Also, no chance I'm hitting that high this round. It's, it's hard, Decky. I, I think you guys may need to come up with a plan for how to sort people who don't beat Faulkner. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of people who don't even beat the first gym. And I think... 16-bit. You may need a... a Yeah, you're going to need to come up with some kind of way to measure that. 16-bit, he's, he's good at old school games. He'll come in and crush with a joystick. Oh, yeah. Number four goes to... Oh, uh, sleepy. Tater. Oh, we it's love, Tater. We love Tater. With Man, all due, with all Tater due respect. Was... <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. T I was gonna say Tater was was great on in in my playthrough on my good playthrough. Actually, Tater was great in all my playthroughs. Tater was not great for me. <laughs> Tater was always um uh not Spiro the other one Pidgey. Mm. Because I, I made a wheel of, of uh, uh, names before, and so I just stuck to that list going down. With all due respect to Tater, I see this as uh, a quick rage quit for him. Oh man, your own wife's doing better than you. Yeah, she still has an hour and a half left, so she's going to give it... She said she wants to give it one more shot. I knew... I always knew that... Uh, that the cheating would run in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till I get my no, kid on the both. wheel. <laughs> Thomas the wizard. With two Z's. Um, not sure how Tom is at Pokemon. About to find out. That is true. What place are we on? Is the this number for... one spot goes to... Awesome. Sorry. No, I was just asking you what place are we on? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. You, you knew it. You knew I was going to ask it. <gasps> Mr. 
Mr. Matt. Oh, Mr. Matt bringing home the gold. I hope he does. I would love to see Mr. Matt get a first in Pokemon. I don't think Mr. Matt's had a first yet, so I hope he gets a first soon. Yeah. At two and a half hours, somehow. <laughs> All right. Want to read this off? Whoops. What is this? Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke. Okay. Yes. Uh, sorry, I just sent you the list. Um, so starting back at number 10, we have our very own Markman, 59. Yeah. At number 9, Kythias. At number 8, fuck you, Return of Octodad. <laughs> number 7, me! Number 6, Deki, who saved my, my run. Number 5, 16-bit Hyper Turbo. At 4... It's t God damn it, Hill, Hank Hill. <laughs> It's Tater eighty four at three. It's Ash Noct at number two. It's Tom the Wizard, and at number one, Mister Matt, Internet. All right, congratulations to everybody who placed. Um, Kylo, do you have any any final thoughts for us? Anything you want to share? <sighs> I've ranted and raved enough. If you want to get the true feeling, though, of my... Fr I, there, I have uh, submitted two videos. Just go watch the last, what, 10, 15 seconds of my first video. It's the true feelings of this game. <laughs> game with these with this rule set. He's so mad. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I just... I mm, Fuck you, Octobot. I, can't, I cannot stress that enough. Just fuck you and that rule set because I don't need it because this is just it, it's it's abysmal it's horrible like why would you do this to us I mean ugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just full, filled with rage sorry yesterday yesterday was not a good day and oh. I'm, I'm reached a calm center now a calm chewy caramel center and god Damn it! Fuck you, Octo. <laughs> yeah. Um. Um. My little commentary here. I think the level cap was a bit much. Um. I think we're going to have a lot of issues with uh people who have never played a Nuzlocke, let alone played Pokemon, who are going to struggle to even get through the first gym. Um. And I mean, it's gonna be a few of us who get through that 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 choke point, and then a lot of people grumbling and groaning. And you know what? If you grumble, you groan, you moan, you piss, you yell, you scream. It's justified. This round, it's justified. You have my permission to get mad. Um, I think a standard nuzzy probably would have been the best way to go about this one. Uh, but you know what? On the same. On the flip side of that same coin, though, I like a hard, I like an occasional, just ridiculously hard game. So it keeps the wheel fresh. It's fine. I get it. I hope it bites Octobot in, in the butt. I mean, it might. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it might roll out him in the butt. <laughs> Still think you're neat, though, Octo. So. Anyway, guys, um, that's it for us this week. Uh, we will be here again probably next week for next week's spin. And uh, best of luck to everyone. Try not to try not to get stampeded by Miltank. I'm looking forward to watching watching a lot of the uh, Pokemon runners. Yes, I will be watching as many as I can. And actually, I'm probably going to go back to watching Aaron on Discord. As am I. So, all right, guys. Um, let's Have see. a good one. Who is available? Do I know anybody? Do I know anybody live at the very moment? Nope. I don't know anybody. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Best of luck. See you at the podium. <laughs>